Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is... His name is Oliver. My name is Oliver. <laughs> and I'm here today um, with Libby Frank, yeah. who's the singer of I'm That Bitch. Now I'm That Bitch. Now I'm That Bitch, yeah. yeah. And um, basically you've got an amazing new album, or I'm predicting. Yes, it's going to be hard, trust me. It's so, good. tell me where you are with the album, because I've heard one track right. and another one I found on YouTube. Oh, what song was that? Um, begins with A. Oh gosh. And I don't think it's meant to be on there Automatic? either. Automatic? Automatic, yeah. That's the second single, that's it's on great YouTube. Track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to tell you about that. Oh, like, right. I think maybe you should get that taken down. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, but those two songs, like, you can hear the dance sort of vibe with them. They're definitely like club bangers. Um, the rest of the album has some of that sort of same sound in it as well. Some of that sort of same sound in it as well. There we go, lots of S's. <laughs> <laughs> lots of um, S's on the album. <laughs> yeah, um, and also there's um, a retro vibe to it, and there's a sort of like slower song that's really acoustic, and then there's one that sort of has a reggae vibe as well, because being from Barbados, I definitely had to get some of that Caribbean vibe on there. So it's, it's going to be really cool. It's definitely a perfect representation of, of who I am and where I've been. And tell me, how did it all come about then? So how did you get a record deal? Um, well, I did it the old-fashioned way. I recorded a demo and I went to New York and I went to about five or six different labels. Um, you know, just stood in front of them and just sang a song, you know, just sort of tried to present myself as an artist. And then in the end, you know, Jive Records, which was always in my top picks, was the one that, you know, came through and they wanted to, they were really interested and they offered me a deal. And I signed in October of 2007. So I just want to know, like, how does that work then? So you were recording at home, what, you in the studio? Yeah, or? I was in Barbados. Um, I've been writing songs since I was 14. So yeah. I was working in the studio because I was at school at that time, you know, being 14. And I was recording my demo sort of in between school time and all the other things I was doing. Um, so by the time I was finished secondary school, I really got a chance to sort of like put it full out and really like concentrate on doing it. And I recorded the demo with some local producers. Yeah. Um, so we finished about four or five different songs. And um, then I went to Miami um, and did some more recording there because um, I know someone down there and he okay. sort of, like, hooked me up with some producers and writers and so on. And then, you know, we had like a sort of great demo put together of about seven songs. And I went to New York and just, you know, sort of presented myself here I am and on your Wikipedia so this might not be true because we know I think my stuff on there is true actually let me it, see do you check it do you check it sometimes I do I'm guilty yes. I google myself too <laughs> you haven't edited it yet have you like you can add in your own oh, additions really? to Wikipedia okay, yeah I'll try that <laughs> no I just read that you were <laughs> something to do with the pe playing the piano at a really young age or something yes, like that yes yeah? um, that's where the name Frank came from from Libby Frank um, my, that's my late grandfather's name and when I was two years old I was playing on the piano really focused and probably was playing a bunch of crap but you know I was really focused and, and nothing else was mattering to me I was just like you know playing away and my grandfather looked at me and he said to my family who were standing in the room she's gonna be a musician just watch out so I was two years old then so it's like he predicted this you know this great journey that I'm on right now and then so after you slowly just flipping back now to the present so you yeah. 2007 your deal and then you've been recording since then yes or? i got signed in october and the january of 2008 i started recording my album mm -hmm. i finished in about july and then there was some time in between when the single was going to be released and the time that i finished recording for the album so i started doing some songwriting for other artists oh yeah um and that's pretty much how i mean i was writing for other artists but for me, when I'm writing songs, they always keep getting better and better. So the label was like, oh, no, well, that can't go for that person. What that for you? You have to keep that. So um, it sort of worked out that way. And um, right now, I have recorded about 100 songs. So we're in the selection process in the album. So we have to pick 12 songs out of those 100. So <laughs> it's actually a good problem to have because, yeah. you know, we're going to pick the best of the best. And it's going to be a great, a great compilation. And, um... I'll, I'll, like when someone listens to your album, because I always think about music like that. Like, what do you want someone to feel at the end? Like, what is the album? That what what's the premise, the concept behind the whole album? Is it like I'm gonna throw everything I can on there? Like, you know, a bit of an like you said, acoustic right. reggae, or is it is it like a going out record, or what is it? I think what it really is, it's like it's like a journey, um, because. 
for me, I'm a Gemini, so I've got loads of different sides to me. Now I'm that bitch, is like my naughty, sexy side. And I think being a Gemini, I'm sure it's not only Geminis. Everyone has different sides to them, you know. They sort of sometimes just want to relax and just sort of like cool it and listen to a nice, slow, acoustic song. Yeah. And then sometimes want to put those songs on that really want to get you going, going out, you know. Um, but, you know, like now I'm that bitch, my sexy side. And then there's a song on there called Hummingbird, which is more acoustic and sort of more relaxed. And But the whole album, even though they have those different sounds, it just it flows so nicely and it's a story um, it's really like a journal entry for me um, mm. because I wrote most of the songs they're all personal so it's like you know one of my little diaries really <laughs> a diary entry yeah. and um, I'll tell you what because when I went to your showcase what I did like because you obviously you've got really powerful voice but also you've got like the, that nice tone and that softness to it as right. well which um, you know some um, singers kind of like have the power but they the tone is just right. terrible to listen to yeah. and um i really liked um i wondered like some of the acoustic sounds that's gonna where you're gonna be a bit softer maybe it is definitely yeah? um and i think th the way that came about is um in the recording process during the album i worked with a lot of different producers and um what happened was each producer that I worked with in each session was different so yeah. I it was like a path of self-discovery for me and I sort of like discovered new things about my voice and different textures yeah. and you know different ways that I sing things and the words and the way that I write so it's really showcasing you know all the different sides of my vocals and the way that I express myself. What about like so in the studio recording how like is there anything weird that happens how does that work so you just go in and... Yeah you know each, each one is different as I said so there's no sort of formula to writing songs so yeah. sometimes like with um, the producer that I did I wrote now I'm that bitch with Salam Remy um, the way that he works is that you know we sort of he so we sat down together and he sort of like got a vibe about me and sort of like picked my brains and asked me you know how, how are you feeling today you know what's going on with you what are you feeling like writing today so I said um, he said okay well you, it was close to the time that we were finished the album yeah and he said, okay, well, you've finished the album, you know, sort of coming to the end of it. What is there left that you want people to know about you? What is there left that you want to sing and what do you want to get out there? So I said, I really want people to know that, you know, I've got a lot of different sides to me. I'm not an innocent girl because when people first meet me, they're like, oh, you're so sweet. You're a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to show that side of me. So yeah. I was like, okay, so you want people to know that now you're that bitch. I was like, yeah, exactly. So. But the song is about, like, well, from what I read into it, it's about someone that's, like, totally screwed you over and now you've come back better than ever. Yeah, yeah, so now I'm in control. And I is that say, true? Has this way. actually happened? Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure you can relate to that. Yeah, of course. Um, it's, happened to, it's happened to I everybody. Do it. <laughs> Every time, oh, you do it. You're you're the one that's the no, bad guy. no, no. I'm the one that's um, like right. I'm gonna spend three hours getting ready. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look so good when I bump into them. Exactly. I did that once. It was really terrible, but every, I did look good. Every person that I meet has that same story. Yeah. So you know, it's a great song in that way. Um, but as I was saying, you know, each producer works differently. Sometimes they have a bunch of tracks that you listen to and you say, okay, I like that one. I like this one. Go yeah. right to this one. And sometimes, you know, you sit down with a producer and he's got his guitar out and we're just sort of writing together and jamming and we're just letting it happen naturally. Um, so yeah, it's been different.